Joining us in studio as we officially tip off our all-access BYU Basketball Media Day coverage is the head coach, Dave Rose. Dave, welcome back to studio. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? We're great. We're talking hoops, and and hoops always comes in the middle of football. We go, oh, yeah, men's hoops. Let's go, baby. It's about to begin. Yeah, it always does. And and usually it's right around the Utah State football game because it's around general conference weekends when we get started. We've had a few practices already this year because they moved the date up, and so I moved uh, everything up in the calendars kind of a little bit different than it was last year. So um, looking forward to, uh, you know, another two or three weeks of some, you know, good practices. And then uh, we'll start, you know, playing in front of people. Fantastic. Uh, Can you confirm or deny the rumor that the BYU basketball coaching staff will at some point sport mustaches this season to join forces with the BYU football offensive coaches? No, I I don't think that'll happen. (laughs) Have you ever had a mustache? uh, I've actually had a beard, yeah, one time in my life for maybe uh, it was probably five or six months. When was that? Well, back when I was playing in college, yeah, one summer. I looked good. Looked like Mike Newland, guys told me. You know, <laughs> if you guys remember Mike. More importantly, I, did I Cheryl like it? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it was only five or six months. Yeah, yeah, I think we know the answer. Yeah. So uh, you said you have a couple more weeks before the season. Do you feel like you know what you have with this group, or you need to see them practice together to to really know? Well, I think it's an inexperienced group, and so you know the the seven or eight guys who have been in the program, we have a pretty good idea. We got some new guys that we got to try to see how they fit with the group in practice, and then see how they fit when we perform when the lights come on. You know, and we turn them on. So, um, you know, it, it's a it's a process that you go through every year. I mean, everybody is really excited about. Uh, their team right now because uh, you know we we haven't haven't been beat yet you know and so uh, we're we're looking forward to uh, getting out there and uh, we got a couple exhibition games before we we actually tip off with Nevada at Nevada probably, probably be ranked you know when it all comes down to the first second week uh, they'll be ranked in the top ten you know maybe the top five so we got a good shot right out out of the gates to to make some noise. You mentioned the word experience, and we brought up two seniors, six juniors. I feel like, okay, you've waited a long time to get to this point where your younger guys are no longer that young. How do you feel about uh, the maturity of your team, led by the guys like Yoli Childs, T.J. Haas, Nick Emery, and so forth? Yeah, and I think I think the leadership really, uh, you know, Luke has been a, a, a just a stalwart here. I, I know that he's, um, you know, really talks to the guys about, our ultimate goal, which is the NCAA tournament. He's been in a couple of them. Dalton's another guy who's been in the NCAA tournament. We've, over the years, had a roster full of guys who have had that experience. Uh, that's that's really not the case with this team. As for when we talk about experience, but with the experience we've talking about is that they've been through the wars. They know what it's like to go through a, a non-conference schedule and then get ready for league and what it's like the first time through league, the second time through league, get prepared for the league tournament. So those are all things that I, I you feel comfortable with with your team because you've got eight players who have been through that with you. And then you're excited for the new guys, see how the new guys all fit and how quick they can come. We've had uh, over the years some really big impacts from our freshman and sophomore uh, class, um, but – the years that our freshman and sophomore classes kind of had to carry us has not been our best year. So I'm looking forward to an experienced team with some help from that, uh, the younger classes. Your goal, of course, is the NCAA tournament. You've been there a bunch of times. Um, what, what are your expectations for this group uh, early on right now? Well, my expectations are, if you're talking about the end, the result is that that's where we want to be. And we we got, we got to get there. Uh, I mean, there's two ways to qualify. One's an at-large bid, which is – getting to be pretty tough. I mean, we've been in the leagues. I think we've been in the WCC for seven years. There's been six at-large bids. We've got three of them. I think St. Mary's got two. Zags have got one. I mean, it, it, those are really, really tough to come by. Um, and so uh, you, you really kind of focus in now on on those three days in Vegas, you know. But uh, we've got a great schedule. If we, if we could put this thing together and, and uh, you know, really – I think the schedule bodes really well for what the committee is trying to look for. So we just need to win some games. Do you feel like it's harder uh, to get an at-large last couple of years versus, say, I don't know, when you when you were? Well, I, I mean, it's not it's not what I feel. It's fact. I mean, yeah. just count them up. So you know, we we know where we stand. We just we got to go get it done.
Dave Rose, head basketball coach at BYU, with us on BYU Sports Nation. It is BYU Basketball Media Day. Brian Hamilton, a writer for The Athletic, tabbed your team as his college hoops team, and I, I want to quote this, that wasn't in the tourney last year but is most likely to make a splash this year. How do you feel about uh, that type of expectation uh, being given to your team? Uh, absence? I'm excited about that. I, I think our, our, our guys, that's what they work for. That's what they come here. I think the expectation is uh, that that's what our program is and that's what we want to do. I mean, when you go to the tournament eight out of nine years in a little stretch there and these guys were all alive during that period, I mean, I think that's why they come. And that's what they want to do. And so, uh, you know, it, it is a long uh, five and a half, six month process, and all those games count. And so you have to be really consistent in order to pull that off. Yoli Childs is back for his junior year. How has he changed his game? Is he more of a perimeter player kind of shooter guy? Well, I think he spent a lot of time out there. I, I, I do believe that, um, you know, he, he's developed. Uh, from year to year, more of his more of his game offensively. I think defensively, he's gotten a lot smarter with his ability to to defend without fouling. Um, but I, I do think that when what you saw against St. Mary's and against Gonzaga in the conference tournament last year will be more of the norm for for Yoli this year. I hope so, anyways. Shooting threes. Yeah. That kind of thing. yeah, absolutely. Well, in regard to Nick Emery and him having to sit out nine games, what's the plan to kind of navigate through all of that? Because I know he's with the team, he's practicing with the team, but you won't get him until the Utah game. Yeah, we, we've been through that before, uh, you know, over the years. The rules have kind of changed. But since I've been here, we've had some semester transfers. When Kelly Wesley was one, I remember. Matt Carlino was a guy who became eligible. And, and basically, you know, right now, Nick is in practice. He's he's on the you know the scout team at times. He's on uh, the white team and, and just kind of getting his legs and his feel back and has a lot of freedom to do what he wants. I think when we get closer to the time where uh, you know he's going to be playing with us, then we'll kind of um, kind of attack that challenge as it comes. But Nick's going to be a big part of this team once he gets uh, to be able to play. Is he the same player he was before? Um, I think you'll you see a lot of the same things, but I, I also see a lot of maturity in him. I think that uh, he he was always a guy, and and still is. He's a really emotional guy, and he and he he, he plays you know with his attitude right on his sleeve. And uh, but I, I I do believe that uh, he has a a much clearer vision of what this game is and how he appreciates it and wants to play it. How will the pace and scheme look for this year's team compared to last year? Well, that that will be interesting to see. You know, I I think that uh, you know as a whole, the guys want to play a little bit faster, and everybody at this time of year is always talking about playing faster because that's what the fans want to hear. <laughs> that's what everybody wants to hear. But you know, coaches are pretty much creatures of habit, and they try to figure out the best way for that team to play so that they can win games. Yeah, especially you know successful coaches, coaches that win a lot. So. Uh, I think right now everyone's talking about playing faster. I think our group wants to play faster. We're practicing uh, with a whole different pace on offense. Um, we'll see if we can be successful playing that way. And if we can, I think it'll be a, you know, a really fun year for the guys. You said the guys want to play faster. Do you want to play faster? Well, yeah. That, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean that's, that's kind of like asking LeBron what he going to bring to the Lakers, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you I want to play faster? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You always want to play. Do faster. I want to play faster? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. It was just it was just very slow last year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Looking at this group, um, who do you expect to have a, a bigger role than they had last year? Uh, if you take the guys, you know, that are returning, you know, I think Jashir uh, is a guy that played really well last year for us and was a, a defensive gem and and and. Uh, Bring, bring something to our team that we hadn't seen for a few years and being able to get that initial penetration under control. He's a, he's a, a, a really good offensive player, and I think you'll see uh, a lot more scoring out of him. I, I think that uh, Zach Selyus is a guy who had a great freshman year and last year tried to find his way a little bit after a year off. I think he's uh, spent so much time in the gym that it's just bound to pay off, and, and he's going to you know, have a much bigger role. And I think Ryland Bergeson is another guy who has really spent the time and has the game to be able to play how we want to play, and we'll just see how he does when we get him in there. The new guys, Connor and Gab, expect a lot out of those guys. Colby is uh, is coming along, but uh, you know I I'm really excited to see that part of it. I think we all kind of know you know about TJ and Yo and uh, you know what what they bring and how they do things, and now let's see and Nick and let, now let's see what what else we can you know uh, really bring to the table. I. I, 
you know, the thing for me, I, when I recruit these guys, I really, I think every guy that I recruit at some time could be an all league player. It, it, it just depends on how it works for them. A lot of it's, uh, you know, uh, opportunities with uh, the position opportunities. Other times it's health factors. But if, if we stay healthy and these guys all can kind of fit together, I, I think we've got a really good group that uh, can make a good run at it. In case anybody else is still wondering, head coach Dave Rose wants to play fast. So you do want to play fast. We always play fast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, if you – if you, it's, It was the fast sabbatical last year. I, I think yeah. I'll, I'll just – Stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, fantastic to talk to you. We're excited for media day. Yeah, hoops, let's go. Season. October 19th is Blue and White. We have right, a, I, got a I got a question for you guys. Okay, yeah, okay. The last time I think we talked, we were in the bookstore. Okay. I think so, yeah. Uh -huh. when, when was that, in July or June? April, I want to say. April? It was a long wow, summer, yeah. long time. Have you been doing this every day? <laughs> Just about. Since that? Yeah, we take Saturdays and Sundays off. Saturdays and Sundays yeah. off. Okay. Have we been doing this every day, you know, Coach? Sometimes, Coach, have we been have doing this we, every day? Sometimes when I leave, like, really special places, like when you go to Hawaii uh -huh. and you have a, a great time for, you know, seven or eight days, and then you come home and you think, you know what, there's still people over there having really good days. Uh -huh. You know, you go to Lake Powell, have a great time, and then you think, my gosh, there's people down there having a great time. I don't feel that way about it. <laughs> <laughs> but Someone, you are doing it every someone, day. Someone's got to carry the banner. Someone's got to do it. We're next door neighbors here. Okay. We appreciate the support, Dave. <laughs> I, I haven't seen you guys playing catch out there. We need to do oh, that. I know it's you been know. a while. We're busy. We need yeah. to get on Coach Rose's lawn. That's why you haven't been. <laughs> we need to get on Coach Rose's lawn.